When creating game characters, clothing and accessories can really help to define the character or NPC. These details can continue to build on the world you've created and create an attachment between the player and the characters. This clip will give you a sampling from the Unity Game Dev course's art learning path from Pluralsight. This path takes you through the process of creating assets for your games. In this clip, we'll use a couple of different methods in ZBrush to add high-resolution raised runes to our character's ring and pauldron clip. This course is about creating game-ready art, so although in this clip we'll be creating geometry in ZBrush, in a later course, we'll learn how to prepare the model and import it into Unity. If you want to dive deeper into this kind of content, you can find the full batch of Unity game dev content from Pluralsight at unity3d.com slash swords and shovels. In this clip, we'll finish up our module by adding the runes to the pauldron clip and also to the ring that we just created. So if you take a look on your artwork, you'll see this is the rune that we have for the pauldron clip, and then this is the rune that we're going to add to the ring. And I've gone ahead and created two images based on these runes that are both black and white images that we can use as alphas inside of ZBrush. So let's close this out. This is our pauldron clip, and I want to subdivide it so that we have plenty of polygons to be able to add this. And so that's probably pretty good. Let me add one more. That's a good resolution. And so there are several ways that we can do this. One way would simply be to sculpt it uh, straight away using the alpha. So we'll go into alpha, import, and let's choose between rune one and rune snake. So rune one is going to be the one for the pauldron clip. So we'll open that up. And then here we see that's added as an alpha to our standard brush. Let's choose a drag rectangle for the stroke. And then also I want to take the focal shift down so it's not blurred on the outside. So now if we have Z add selected with our Z intensity, we can draw this out onto our clip. Now it may take a little bit to get the exact placement correct. So let's come in here and I just want to try to get it right in the middle. We could also use our polyframe to kind of help out with that a bit. Kind of draw that in. So maybe something like that. And you can see where that's raised up. Now we can go back in here. And if you wanted to kind of smooth that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and leave that. And then when we go in and add the wear and tear, we'll be able to kind of cut that down a little bit more. Also, you could, if you wanted to just smooth it out, you could subdivide it again and then smooth it that way. So that's how we can add just with an alpha. We can just add that to our brush. Now, the way that we're going to add the snake rune is going to be much different. And it's a really cool method uh, that I love because it's, it's so flexible and you can really make some interesting shapes with it. And so let's take a look at that. We'll go uh, actually to just poly mesh, go to the star here. And I'm going to come down in our tool palette. Let's go under geometry. We'll close out Z remesher. And we want to use something called shadow box. And if you haven't used it, it's actually really cool. So open up shadow box. I'm going to create a fairly high resolution shadow box and we'll hit shadow box. And what that'll do is create now the geometry of the star is actually being created by the intersection of these three different masks. So we've got a mask on the back of the star shape, and then the other dimensions are defined by these other masks. And so we want to use this to create our geometry. So I'm just going to come in here and unmask everything. Now, whatever masks, mask that we add here, that's going to be created. And so let's go ahead and get our new alpha. So we'll go ahead and import this rune snake. So let's add this as an alpha to our mask. So let's choose alpha rune snake. And then as we draw this out, you can see it appears there. So let me go ahead and it doesn't really matter where, just draw it out here. And you can see it creates this piece of geometry based strictly on this alpha. We could come in here and let's get rid of this alpha. And then if we'd masked off a thicker area, then that rune is going to be thicker. So once we're done, we can just turn off shadow box. And now we have this really cool piece of geometry that we can go into our ring and append it. So we'll go ahead and append. We'll append this in here. We need to rotate it. So we'll simply go to rotate. Let's rotate it around. 
90 degrees. The ring itself, we need to subdivide and then go back to our new piece, kind of center it a little bit, and then we need to just scale it down a bit. And if you want to make it a little bit thicker, you can, or you can bring it out a little, maybe something like that. And so here we're able to add that as actual piece of geometry, which can make things like adding color and texture a little bit simpler versus sculpting it directly into the surface like we did with the pauldron clip. So now let's just select this piece. We'll smooth it. And then what I want to do is create a merged version of this. And so we'll just go to the top, go to merge. And we'll just say merge visible. That won't affect this Z tool, but it'll create a new merged one that is all one piece, which we can then add to our model. Let's go to the pauldron clip. And you can see it's going to be ready to go as well. So let's go in and actually append these. So we'll go to our main mesh. Here it is. And so we need to now import or append rather the ring, the merged ring. We'll select it. We need to scale it down and we just need to move it into position. So it's going to be on his right hand, I believe, but obviously you can put it wherever you want to. So it's just a matter of rotating it, moving it and scaling it into position. So it looks like it's oriented fairly correctly. So we just size it to his finger, make sure it's on his finger. So something like that. All right. And then we need to do the clip as well. So we'll go back to append add the pauldron clip and then the pauldron clip, we will move forward, rotate it, needs to be a bit bigger. So we'll scale it up a little and move it up. So it should go kind of right about here. It can kind of sit on the surface there. Okay, so something like that. Thank you so much for checking out this short tutorial on adding sculpted runes to our hero's ring and pauldron clip. For more, go to unity3d.com slash swords and shovels for in-depth training on character and environment art for games. Thank you.